Look, waiting for the notification to tell me. Hold up. Whoop. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just playing with you guys. Hello there, everyone. Welcome to a brand new um. Excuse me for a second. A bit. There we go. A brand new run this time. It's on the new Harvest Moon game, Mad Dash. And let's. Why not? I still wish there was more profile picks for the t for for the Switch. I'll tell you one thing. I have literally no idea which. I can't talk. Is that a Warhawk? Whoa. That looks nice. Alright guys, let's start with this game. And I did pre-order this game. But I did not get a squishy cow. I'm sad. I don't blame that to me. I blame GameStop. Whoa. What is that? Oh, are you kidding me? Is that the same thing as the Light of Hope? Oh no, it's terrible! The island is like a jungle now! But don't worry, the Harvest Goddess told me what, what we need to do. Bring lots of crops and eight time seeds to the lighthouse to revive it, she said. We'll help you out, so let's go to the lighthouse together. I guess it is based on him. The fight of hope. Don't worry guys, we will get back to him. We start from here? Sending a message right now. There we go. All right, let's start with the first stage, I guess. Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet! I can change the character. That's fine. I still the same for me. Let's start, I guess. Supposedly this is a party game, but it's a puzzle game too. If you pick up and put down crops using... I guess A. You can get the same type of crop to make it grow. You can harvest crops and they're shining, just use the... I hope it's not echoing. Okay. You can harvest crops if they're shining, just use the B button to harvest. Pick up and connect crops using the A button, then harvest them using B. Go on, give it a try. Okay. Ah, 
Oh, okay, that makes sense. Got it. Holy crap! What in the world? Whoa. That's interesting. They really do look at the sprites from the Light of Hope. I wonder what that means. Place the same kind of crossed fish pans or hay bales in the square shape just to get a big one. When you harvest big items, you'll get a bonus and your power gauge will fill up some more. Nice, huh? See how big you can make them, but be careful not to let them wither and die. Uh, okay, let's see what we can let's see what we can do. Oh, so that's what it meant. Now we know. Boom! Ah, I did mess up on that one. I'll try again. I was wondering what kind of game it was, but it looks like a more like a puzzle. Ah, oh, I felt better. Okay, so we can't do it like how I did it.
There we go. Wow. Fantastic! I still don't know what, what that meter is. Maybe I do now. This is an order box. If you're able to harvest the number of crops listed on the order box, You'll get a bonus added to your score. Fill lots of order boxes to get a high score. I can't do anything! Ah. Uh. I'll try again. That is one interesting puzzle right now. Okay, let's get this on. Going Super Saiyan! Did I make it? Still don't know what that meter is. Hold on a minute.
There we go. If you harvest a lot of big crops, you'll activate a power mode. Harvesting is limited during power mode. Also, crops won't die. And fish won't try to escape. Use this time to harvest a lot. Oh, that won't work. Oops. I'm sparing the B button! Ah, oh, okay. Still don't know what that meter. <laughs> I gotta stop repeating myself on that. All right. Crop you can pick up. You can rotate. Oh, you can actually rotate them now? If you can't find a place to put them? Okay. That's a lot better now. Like Tetris. Gosh, I damn my win off.
Ah. That's fine. Any questions because I've got a lot of questions for this game. <laughs> that was just fun. I wonder why people who are giving it like you know bad news about it. I mean, it is a different way to play Harvest Moon. crop now. Crops will grow when you connect them, but watch out for the exclamation icon. The exclamation icon means the crops are getting close to withering, so when you see that exclamation icon, harvest these crops. If your crops do wither and die, use to get rid of them. Okay, got it. Magic happening. Here we go. Damn the beat button. Oh boy. Okay, I think that's all of them. Aww. Oh, we made it. Fantastic. Still waiting for a fish. Oh, no, oh, so close. That is interesting. Oh. 
Ah, yeah, I can't do anything. I messed up. <laughs> I'll try again. Ah! I clicked too hard. Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's do it, bro! Let's do this! I don't know if we're gonna make it for the three, but we'll make it good somehow. Uh... It was close. Faster than this now. Okay.
Heck yeah, we made it, boys and girls. Woo! Whew, that was close. Put anything you can use in the basket. I will return the item to nature. What is this? An eggplant? Yeah, sweet. Yeah, there's no way for it. But we did make it over. We were close for a second time now, too. It's like a mini game sort of game, so maybe it gets a little bit more challenging when more people join in. If you give a cow hay, you'll be able to collect milk from it. Pick up the hay bale, use the A and put it in front of the cow. When a cow sees a hay bale, they'll head right over to it, and start eating. After it's finished eating, they'll head right over to it. And after it's finished eating, use the B button to collect it. Milk. Anything? Oh, wait. Ah. Oops.
last one. Yeah. You know, Harvest Brides actually look like Tilly Tubbies. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. The heater is actually noise is not making that much noise in the background for the microphone. Because it's cold upstairs, so I had to turn on the heater. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got we got crops and we got cows. Come on, cow. Let's go, cow. Oh. Oh. Here go. Here go. Here you go, cow. For the look, thank you, 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 Get it, cows! Get it! Get it! Get the head! Get the head! Get the head! They're happy! They're happy! They're happy! They're happy! There's a push-up. I can't get a push-up for a cow. Whoop! 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 Ah, the cow's already eating it. Don't eat the peppers, they're not good for me now. They ain't big yet. There we go, they're big yet. Oh, I was so close to making that other pepper good. Yeah, but we made double our points though. Is that alarm clock? Time limit bonus plus. When used, adds 30 seconds to your time. Okay. That's actually pretty useful. Hey, yeah, five. By using just a little of the Earth's energy, we can help you harvest. If you choose an effect before you start harvesting, it will be easier to harvest. Hold on a second. What is that? It is cold upstairs. You choose an effect, yeah, I said that. You need to harvest. You use up some of the Earth's energy when you be helped. But you can build that back up by harvesting. Let's do it together. Okay, okay. 
that's what, what that's what the meter is, so we can add energy to it. But nah, I think we're good right now. We don't need the extra ones. Not unless this one is actually telling you you must use it. Oh But I think because I didn't uh, grab that mini at the that I actually got powered up. Ugh. No, you don't need it. You don't need the extra minutes. Oh, uh, seconds away. Okay. I know I can do this without the seconds. I know I can do this. Do you have a pet cow? I'll be just be young. Like a cow. Just like that. Come on, having a cow is adorable. Look at it. Are you 
eating my crops, you sort of tell me. Actually, get another power up right now. Hold on. Stop eating my crap! Party cows! I should have just went up. Oh my god. Yeah, just by a little bit. I knew I I knew I had it. I knew it. I just needed one more. <laughs> Top of my dogs a little bit when I was trying to feed them time. Especially one. They're big puppies but at the same time, they're just like. Bradfield might actually be doing that Smash Night if he actually has that thing game on right now. Made at least. Uh, there we go. Told ya, we didn't need those extra seconds. We got this.
I wonder what's living on this energy bar right now. I didn't think it was a harvest sprite, but at the same time, they look like Tully Toys to me right now. Fish! Thank you. Does that mean I get to feed the cows and the fish? Look, it's a fish pit. There are fish pins with fish in them. Empty fish pins. Pick up a fish pin with with fish in it and using and then connect to the empty one and increase the number of fish. Catch the fish by pressing. Okay, I'm trying to catch them all. Fish will escape if after a while though when you see the submission put Great. Okay. Got it. I got a fish. Gosh, it <laughs> I was trying to figure out why it said to push B. It was, and also, I think I need to be. It looked like I had to be on top of the fish in order to do that. Okay. I got it now. I gotta be the top. I gotta be the top man. I gotta be the top farmer boy. Yeah, I kind of changed the settings a little bit so people can actually you know, to see it more. Uh, you know. And the lower quality as well because that reminds me of what Omega keeps complaining about raging a lot. During the strings with uh, Unholy Angle 15, so yeah. And on my phone, his Wi Fi is down most of the time. Power thing. I wanted to get the power thing, so we're like, how much would that be with a lot of fish? I think this would actually be hard if this was on mobile devices. Because if you got to go A and B trying to move everything else. And then you have L and R. I don't even know how they're gonna do that. It's good things on the switch. <laughs> and the PlayStation 4 actually makes a lot more sense now. Too bad the Vita is already dead, so. Yeah. Ooh, what is that? Is that. What is that?
That was a lot of fish. I'm trying to catch a moo here. I could have sworn that was actually the flower shop in the island. That's why. Looks like it, definitely. I wonder what the next Harvest Moon, oh, actually, you know, the story next one's gonna be. What the f on the front of that building now. Let me see what happens if I change the character. Alright, let's try. Yay! I forget 
know her name. I gotta re- I gotta- I gotta definitely get back into this game. I think it's- it's a wild boar. Wild boars will destroy pin, crops, fish, pants, and hay bales, so make sure they don't get crushed. Oh, okay. If you or an animal gets hit by a wild boar, you get stunned, so watch out. That sucks. <laughs>
made it. Told you. How big is this map anyway? If it's just the far part. Let's see. Oh, it's not even my name. Look. You know, let me switch to Fire Emblem right now because I did say I am gonna do Fire Emblem too, so. Alright guys, I'm gonna switch it to the next game, guys, okay? Just return to this kind of screen, yep. It does already, I might have the same, so... It's actually pretty good for a party game, too, so... Playing it solo, sometimes it's a little boring like this. Like for this game, I mean... I'm not saying it's not fun to be entertained with challenges like this, but... It's actually pretty interesting how they actually made the Harvest Moon into this one. From uh, being RPG-ish and trying to collect stuff, making, doing more of the tasks around the town, inside caves and stuff. But yeah, there's actually a pretty interesting twist around what they actually did. So, hold on a second, guys, as we will close this window and we will switch the game. Not bad. <laughs> All right, from the steel book. Here we go. I did pre-order the uh, season of warfare. That's why it came with a steel book instead of you know the regular box. And I'll be right back, guys, because I actually am wanting that cake right now. Be right back. I'll just leave the title screen going on. Be right back.
reach for my hand I'll soar away into the dawn Oh, I wish I could stay Here and cherish hearts In peaceful days I fear the edge of dawn Knowing time betrays Faint lights pass through colored glass in this beloved place Silver shines The world dines A smile on each face As joy surrounds Come for the bounds And I can feel them breaking free For just this moment lost in time I am finding me Yet still I hide Behind this Okay. I'm back. Sorry about that, just was trying to hurry up with the cake. You know it was a small piece anyway. Alright. doesn't need a lot more slight safe slots as in the monastery okay new ally will join in the crimson flower and on concept and distribute it's not possible to recruit Anna from chapter 3 now they're telling me that Anna appears early. 
Additional quests, battalions, outfits, paralogs, and activities have been added. Activities of battalions are unlocked by clearing the additional quests. And if you guys don't know, also, also for the, because this is actually DLC part three, we get to finally, finally interact with the animals on here. So I got happy. I was like, yay! I get to mess with the Calico Cat. What the freak? How many files? Okay. 52 files. I'm good right now. I just need about... I think I just need just five. Because I'll... If I was going to go back into the fray with... The other two houses, I think five would have been enough for me. So, let's get right here. We must go towards the battle against the Lord that apparently is going against the church. Hop, 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 hop. Alright, I think we prepared first since the last time. But let me see the map first. Where? All oh, right, that's over here. I counted what seven of those. I still can't, unless a renewed number. How many people died here? No, it was just seven. Okay. Fight! Defeat the enemy commander. Charger or Claude falls in battle. Ugh. Let's see what's happening. With this fog, it's impossible to tell where the enemy might be, or how many of them there are. The enemy could be trying to surround us, but they shouldn't have enough soldiers to form a tight circle. Take down anyone who breaks through the fog, and let's push through! Oh. The conditions are the same for both sides, but we're at a disadvantage for not knowing the terrain. Proceed with caution. Wait for them to enter your field of view. Low visibility maps. On battlefields with dick fog, your units will only be able to see enemies. They're close by. Proceed with caution. The unit's movement will be cut short if it's interrupted by an enemy. Can earn a reward if your allies do not suffer heavy losses. Be careful not to let your allies flee. So, what part of chapter three are we gonna get Anna? It could be either way. You could say it now. It could be Anna, Anna, Anna. <laughs> Ever since Fire Emblem Awakening, she had talked about how many sisters she's had, and that her parents had many ways to to say Anna. I have no idea how many. I do know since Fire Emblem Warriors, it's a horde of sisters. Ooh. All right, let's see how. All right, he's a level six. Nine speed. Only wearing iron sword. Okay. I'll put myself up ahead in a bit. Ready and willing. 
Mm, let me put the training axe, so just in case. Let's get to it. That's no, fine. Ready anytime. I stand ready. Leave it to me. I'll go. I got this. Who, me? Yes, you. Who, me? You're good right here. Lord Lenato doesn't deserve such sadness and anger. Now it's your turn to suffer. Well, it's a good thing I put her right there. Man, his speed must be that low. You think we're just gonna do nothing while you try to kill our lord? Okay, they're just hitting us right there, huh? Oh, come on! Catherine, leave us some enemies! Yeah, he's a six. He's really low. Here we go. Heck yeah. Let's see if he can does a miss. Whoa, he made it. Nose? Nothing? I thought he was going to say something at least. Alright. Just put you right here then. So we could at least block Catherine from attacking most of the enemies. Claude, you're right here. Looks like an intense battle took place here. You found something next to one of the fallen. Rusted bow. I still know about these rusted bows. I mean, rusted weapons right here. Ah! Found you, buh. That kind of sucks a bit. I can't hit him. Thanks. 
Marina looks cool like that. <laughs> nah, that won't work. I guess Onslaught would be a good idea. Nice! Yeah, I do remember he doesn't learn. Because since we just borrowed him for a bit. For the month. Ah, pop my elbow. Really? That's all you had? Well, he's faster, definitely. No, Catherine, don't! Ah. Uh. My Raphael, we need you, boy. Come on, give us a big level up. Oh, really? Killing me here. Oh, how did you miss an E5? Elder, come on. Heck yeah, now I can use something else. Come on, come on. I'm trying to beat these guys right here. Shadow Wolf. So he, he's not gonna learn any experience. Don't ah. Uh... It does look like. Doesn't look like a lightning sword. It looks like a lightsaber. Hmm. 
This will work, definitely. One hundred percent hit. He must have that long bow, that's why I didn't notice. Let me see. No? Let's see his ability then. Okay, hello, you gotta redeem yourself. Holy crap. What's up with the two low ups? With only two stats increasing. Can't shake the vision of an ally following a battle. Feels like this place is some sort of protection. Experience obtained. Okay, that's nice. What the heck? I won't let you anywhere near Lord Lanato. Well, that church guy is gonna die. Let's see. Heck yes.
I guess this one will work. Whoa, what the heck? Lord Lenato, please don't die. The nobles start the war, but it's the commoners who spill their blood first. Oh. That's a better level up. Golly. Maybe that will work. Let's see. Yeah. Wow, he missed. That's a first for a miss on that. What the? That's a first for me. Okay, you better not miss. Man. 
The fog is lifting as a result of the Dark Mage being defeated. And since the fog is being caused by the magic. What? Oh, it's Catherine. the goddess. Now you face a knight of Theros! The fog has cleared. There's nothing left to hide you or the filthy central church from the judgment of the goddess. Wait, what? So she killed his son. You know what the heck are we doing here? I'm lost big time. Yep, we'll just end our turn here. No damage? Nani? Wait, he said those commoners around here. If I'm correct. Yeah, it's getting cold in here. Ooh.
All right, let's see if we got this here. Gotta admit, I can't believe I'm faster in this one. Wow. Oh, come on! Oh, she- Oh, she missed! No! Oh, Dang it, I should not have left. Man, I was left my ass up right there. But no. Adorbs. It looks like an intense battle took place here. You found something next to one of the following. A Trini Axe Plus? Interesting. Easy. Yeah, I noticed. Hold on, I think we got this. Assist. Thank you. Hmm. 
because right now I'm trying to figure this out. If more enemies are just going to pop out, oh, that's it. So we only got one enemy in the back. And we got these four over here. There. And we got two on the side over here. I'm not counting the Lord though. Okay, let's just get everybody in here because I'm already thinking way too much on this. Iron Sword Plus. Ooh. I now I realize she wasn't taking that much damage. Another training sword? Wait, the plus I mean. It looks like there were some people that were here that were battling with their... I hadn't even... Have we unlocked Blacksmith yet? No, I don't think we have. So, that sucks. If they're using plus weapons, they must have used it with the blacksmith. Oh, you're gonna do that on me? You missed, boy! Really? Let's see how they like this! 
Oh, that one didn't miss. <laughs> you guys are making me want to use them. Hey! Oh, come on! No, 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 no. Oh, he's dead. It was not my fault that boy went all ahead. I guess I can't get up over here. Nice. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, the mace works. But he's a knight. Okay, we're gonna have to do it like that. Good thing no one can get him. Thank you. 
Thank you. Stay focused. Hey, wait a minute, he has fire, right? That works. That's how you do it, boy. And he gone. Oh, I can't move. Oh, so that's what happened. Because then he hit me, I can't move. Last turn. Alright, end turn. Alright, gotta make sure she doesn't come near... Come nearby anybody. I'm surprised people have died nearby here. Cool. Let's try it. Appreciated. Heck yeah. He's definitely gonna get that bonus now. He'll miss, boy. Or girl. No! Oh, come on! Really, Catherine? Oh, 
how much? Let me see. Okay. He has he has an iron lance and a javelin. I'm a bit uneasy. You got this, boy. Yeah. Thanks so much. You're welcome. You have been deceived by that witch. I will show you the truth! I think that'll work. Uh. Rally strength now? Cool. Oh my gosh! Oh! Okay, this is interesting. She could take it. Stand ready. No. Just in case.
fine, it's fine. I just hope she doesn't get it. What? They withdrew? She's on defense motor now. No, I don't want her to get in there. Thank you. you. I will be the one to kill you. No other. You have lost all sense of justice. You want to fight me? So be it. I'll send you to meet your goddess. Sorry, boy. Not gonna happen now. Oh, might as well do it for me. Okay, how much do you need her now, Raphael? I might give it to him, Raphael. But I do want that item right there. So we won't attack him with myself. Okay. Oh, it's just experience. Long gambit use. All right, let's sing. Come on. That vile woman. Kristoff, forgive me. I never thought I'd see Lenato meet this fate. Well done, everyone. Let's gather our troops and go. Oh, sweet! The goddess icon? Yeah, send to the envoy. Stage complete. Magical. Yay! 
<laughs> Once again, he's the MVP. Are you serious? Man. Raphael, I don't understand you. It's maxed out. Sweet. Okay, no idea why they're loud downstairs. My thank you so much. Looks like Dorothy once again is number nice one. Work, teach. Still, that fight left a foul taste in my mouth. That aside, did you see how Catherine fought? Hmm. Agreed. I thought the power of the hero's relics must be exaggerated, but I was clearly wrong. Makes you wonder about that legend. What legend? Oh, it's nothing. Just the usual fanciful nonsense. An ancient relic that once cut a mountain in half with a single swing. That's what they say, anyway. But as amazing as Thunderbrand is, I don't think it fits that description. Apparently, relics can harness tremendous power for those with a compatible crest. Though, you can technically use one so long as you have any crest at all. Yeah, I don't know. Long story short, I'd like to try cutting a mountain in half someday. Ooh, are you talking about relics? You'll be able to use one soon, Claude. I just know it. After all, you've already been selected as the next head of House Regan. Easy there, Hilda. I don't know how apt soon is. My grandfather is still unbearably healthy. Oh, is this news to you, Teach? Yours truly was recently recognized as a legitimate child of House Regan. They possess one of the hero's relics, too, though I've yet to see it. Just recently? I officially joined House Regan only last year. Before then, I lived with my father. When I learned that my mother was the daughter of an Alliance noble, I was so surprised I thought the whole world was pulling a fast one on me for a week. So that means your mother is Duke Regan's daughter, right? Where is she now? I can't say. My mother is currently living in a different world than the one she grew up in and has no desire to return home. Um, okay. You sure have a lot of secrets, don't you? I'm just keeping a promise to my parents. Make of that whatever you will. In exchange for my so-called secrecy, I'm free to do as I please. Which is why I decided to see what the other side of my family was like. That's how I found out about this strange crest I bear. Professor, Claude, it sounds like the troops will be withdrawing soon. We should return as well. We won. We should be celebrating. Instead, we're heading back with heavy hearts. Whoa there, what's the matter? You look as sad as a kitten without any yarn. If we hadn't done what we did, the rebel army would have followed this road all the way to the monastery. And they would have crushed all the little villages along the way. We stopped that from happening. You should be proud. Sorry to intrude, but this incident may be more serious than anticipated. I found this on Lord Lenato. It's a note that mentions a plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. We can't tell who sent it, so the source is suspect, but the content is too disturbing to ignore. We must report this to Lady Rhea right away. I hope that it's nothing. I'm so suspicious right now what's going on. I'm glad to see church. That you have returned safely. The goddess is gracious with her divine protection. But it was not only her divine protection that shielded you, was it? You are just as skilled as I had hoped. My students deserve the praise. I am not so sure. I heard some of the students were hesitant about fighting militia. However, we must punish any sinner who may inflict harm upon believers, even if those sinners are civilians. I pray the students learned a valuable lesson about the fate that awaits all who are foolish enough to point their blades towards the heavens. Our real concern is what Catherine reported, the secret message that was in Lord Lenato's possession. It contained a deplorable plot to target the Archbishop on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. The plan seems unrealistic at best, but a threat is a threat. 
we must maintain constant vigilance. To that end, I would like for you and your students to help with security on the day of the ritual. Mm. Won't that endanger the students? Even if they encounter an enemy whom they cannot best, they should be fine, so long as they have you on their side. The right of rebirth is of paramount importance. It is when the Church of Seros and its believers unite to pray for the return of the Goddess. The Archbishop and I will be confined to the Goddess Tower once the ritual begins. Of course, the Knights will be on high alert as well. But there aren't enough of them to keep watch on every corner of the monastery. It is far from ideal to be forced to mobilize students, but the gravity of this situation requires that we all bend to avoid breaking. While there is no need to fear for my safety, we cannot turn a blind eye to those who would blaspheme so heinously. With any luck, this will all be for naught. Still, be on your guard. Hmm. Maybe Papa Gerald has an idea of what's going on. Wait. Chapter 3. Part the goddess right of white clouds rebirth. blue sea moon the goddess's right of rebirth never mind I shouldn't have just said anything as the sun grows stronger and the nights grow ever shorter the blue sea star returns to the sky once more believed to be the goddess's home her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth on the grounds of Garig Mach Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Saros is sure to be in attendance. Okay, I had enough of that. <laughs> All right. 3,000 gold from the Church of Sirius on funding for this month's activities. It's Casper's birthday. Yes. Thanks. Hmm. Something happened. Okay, so our task this moon is to patrol and guard the monastery in support of the knights, who are busy trying to stop an assassination plot. Here's the thing. I don't think the bad guys are really trying to assassinate the Archbishop. It's a distraction. Precisely. That secret note with the assassination plot on it, there's just no way that was real. People don't just carry around secret notes. Someone wanted us to find it. You really exactly. The assassination plot is just a distraction? Oh yeah, that makes complete sense. But then, what are they really after? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so worried. Let's see. It probably involves somewhere that will be empty during the rite of rebirth, yeah? Since the ceremony is at the Goddess Tower, it follows that everywhere else at the Academy will be severely understaffed. Do you think they're after the Church's donation money? I hear noble families tend to donate quite generously. My bet's on the dining hall. It's a treasure trove of delicious food. Makes me angry just thinking about them getting no. their hands on it. Hold on a minute. Some Let's reason. split up and look around. I'll keep an eye on the reception hall. You should get in some training if you have the time, Hilda. There's a good chance we'll have to fight. Uh, well, I'm not the only one who needs to train here. It's not right to single me out like that. A secret meeting, Professor? 
Oh, Hello. we haven't been introduced. I am Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Saros, and that little go-getter there is... I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. You work for Rhea? Yep, I help Lady Rhea with all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. Okay. Looks like the golden part right there would be the fish and the food. It is now possible to go into battle with the same periods as is in the monastery. You can set this in the journal by selecting unit appearances. It is now possible to recruit Anna for chapter 3 onward. Additional quests will be available for chapter 2 onward. You can check them on from the bullet board. You can now change select units to, to servant attires, summer wear, or even wear from your journal. Yeah, it's basically telling me to go explore, but. Right now, I'm gonna have to end it here. Didn't want to, but earlier I got told that I was gonna have to go to work tomorrow. I was like, dang it. When I wanted to keep on playing, we're already getting more. But seriously, where the heck is Anna? If she had said that, if they, if they had said that you can recruit Anna in chapter three, where is she? Oh, excuse me. What's in the marketplace? I feel good. I don't think there's anything. He's getting there, at least. Man, Ignatz. <sighs> yeah, I'm not seeing that much. Uh, I think I should give her a Steel Lance now. Yeah, I definitely need to get her steel lance. Wait a minute, don't we have anything to sell? Convoy. Wait, what is the goddess icon? Okay, luck by four. No, it doesn't look like it. I thought we did. Okay. Yeah, I knew it. We haven't done the... Why did it leave her, though?
Oh, okay, those are magic users. Holy monks! Are you serious? Yeah, it won't work on her. Hey, not bad. Let's see. Oh, come on. Physical attack is actually better, but the magic attack's not. It's not adding up. Hmm. How about you, Lucithia? Not even. But she has a lot more stuff now. Okay. I think this one's actually pretty good. Wait, why is it a D? <gasps> oh. oh, okay. That makes sense. The authority, that's the thing. I can actually change mine. But I'd rather have Geralt's though. Got you covered. Nice. Ah, oh, nothing for him. That's good. But you're nuts. Four. Yeah, forget it. He doesn't have that high for that thing. Doherty, so. I still wonder how we're gonna do that. Oh, we can listen to support conversations right now. Before I actually log out. Looks like there's right there for knots. Ooh, Leone and Marion. Marini. Maria. <laughs> I can't stop. Is that everything? Yes, that's the last of them. Thank you, Marianne. Just when I thought all the laundry was dry, the wind got stronger, and by the time I realized what was happening, there were clothes dancing across the sky. 
That must have been frustrating to watch. I didn't imagine they would float all the way to the stables. Thanks again for helping me pick them up. It was no trouble. They landed right at my feet. Well, now I can hang it all back up before sunset. Everything should be dry by the day's end. All right, I should get to... Are you all right? <laughs> uh-huh. The hamper's just a little heavier than it looks. Do you think you could give me a hand? Whew, we what hamper? Just in time. Thanks for the help hanging everything up. It was nothing. Huh. Hmm. Um... What is it? I'm sorry. I know I'm not much fun to be around. I'm not very good at small talk either. Oh, no, that's all right. After all, just look over there. Huh? Oh, the flowers are lovely. They were mere buds until just the other day. Now look at those gorgeous blooms. How wonderful. If we'd been chatting away, we might never have noticed them. Sure, the laundry was an ordeal, but at least there was a silver lining. Hmm. <laughs> And I just realized she actually looks like she was crying for a bit. Those eyes of hers makes it look like she was been crying. All right, let's go for again. San Leone. Oh, Professor, here's the map you. Well, as always, next time, I suppose. Hey, Ignatz! Okay. Didn't you have something to talk to the professor about? Oh no, nothing urgent. You didn't cut short your conversation because of me, did you? Come on, do I seem like the type to do that? No, I just had a couple of questions about the bows. We're done now, so I thought I'd come and tell you. The bows? Is something wrong with them? Lots of them have come in for repairs lately, so I switched out some of the strings for stronger ones. They've been breaking less, but now they're harder to draw. Ah, I see. I suppose people would prefer if you went back to the lighter bow strings. Maybe. If the only issue was the draw weight, I'd just tell people to get stronger arms. But the real problem is that you can't shoot as fast. The arrows also fly too far now. I can see how slower shooting is a drawback, but the arrows flying farther, that actually sounds like a good thing. Sure, on open planes, but up close you lose accuracy. That's why I thought it might be good to use different bow strings for different scenarios. I wanted the professor's opinion about that. Oh, good point. You know a lot about bows, don't you? Yes, I do. I grew up in a hunting village, so I've been around them my whole life. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily better than anyone, but at least I know what I'm doing. And you? Do you have something you're really good at? <laughs> Me? Oh, no. I, I don't think so. Well, I'm sure you'll find your thing someday. I hope so. Oh, this how it's Raphael. With Marianne. Hey, Marianne, what's she in? Mind if I join you? I'm starving. Uh huh? Oh, um. All my favorite dishes are on the menu today. I might have grabbed too much. You want some? No, thanks. I. Oh. All you've got on your plate are leaves. Are you sure that'll fill you up? I I'm done eating now. I have to go. Huh? You're already done eating? But there's still food on your plate. Hey, Marianne! Huh. Maybe she's not feeling well. I should probably go check on her later. Oh, is that so? I'm so happy you found all of that food. A little gray starling told me that you can find berries if you fly out toward the mountains. Oh, I found Marianne. I didn't know she spent her time here. It sounds like she's talking to someone. What's that? You want to try some nectar from the flowers in the greenhouse? That might be tricky. I guess you could try it if I'm already there. Otherwise, you might get locked in. Hey, Marianne! Who are you talking to? 
<gasps> Must be a hummingbird that she's talking to. Huh? Oh, the birdie flew off. It, yes, it looks like he has. What are you doing here, Raphael? You were acting a little strange when we were eating earlier, so I wanted to check on you. I was worried. Uh, that's sweet of you, but I'm fine. Are you sure? Well, that's good to hear. As long as... Wait a minute! Were you just talking to a bird? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! You can talk to birds! I'm right, aren't I? Uh... uh yes. That's incredible! This place is full of interesting folks. But I didn't think anyone spoke birdie. No, that's not it. Birdie! This bird just happened to be speaking human. Amazing! I hope I get to meet a bird who speaks human one day. Aww. Okay, it's all this time with Raphael. Right, then this goes here. Hello, Raphael. Is he just checking his buttons? What exactly are you doing with that piece of wood? <laughs> I'm just doing this. With your bare hands. Impressive that just the outer ring is left. It makes quite a nice circle. Yeah, I just gotta polish it up and paint it. Then the base of the necklace will be ready. Sorry, did you say necklace? How's it look? I bet it's the right size too. And this tree bark smells amazing. Now I just need to carve these boar tusks to hang from it. Boar tusks? I almost forgot. I was gonna add these wolf claws too. And I could even add some color to them. And wolf claws? Huh? Is something wrong, Hilda? That necklace! It has a certain, uh, rustic charm? You're right. It really does. Want me to make you one while I'm at it? Oh, no. I wouldn't want to trouble you. Besides, I think it would look better on you than on me. <laughs> it would definitely look good on me. But this one's actually a birthday present for my little sis. For your sister? I mean, uh, don't you think she might like something more feminine? Something cute? Something cute? What's wrong with something tough and rugged? This necklace is gonna have tusks and claws and stuff. But girls don't usually go for tusks and claws and stuff. There should be flowers or gems or... Here, I, I can talk you through it. If you're making a necklace for your sister, you might try putting a pretty little flower in a small crystal bottle and sealing it with resin. If you say so. But where would I find a flower that was pretty enough? Oh, honestly, I don't know much about flowers. But, hmm, now that I think about it, I remember hearing about a splendid flower that only blooms near Fodlin's throat. Fodlin's throat? That's on the eastern edge of the Alliance. I'd have to leave now if I'm going to make it back in time. <laughs> yeah, that does seem like a bit of a stretch. Okay, let me think. Um, where'd he go? Well, no matter. Did he? Did you just put a Batman on her? <laughs> oh, okay, Claude and Hilda. Huh? Are you actually reading, Hilda? I thought you hated study. Oh, hush. It's just a letter from my brother. He sends them all the time. Your brother, huh? Isn't he known as... Whoa, wait, 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 I remember the scene. Uh, the voice actor for Claude. Uh, I think his name was... Uh, Joey or is... I'm trying to remember his name right now. But he, alongside the voice actor for the... Uh, the big meanie. They actually tried to interact this scene. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> oh gosh. 
I remember the scene that one. Because they kept on trying to make funny more scenes or try to make make funny audios. It was just so funny. They can try to switch their roles too, so. <laughs> it was just so funny. Right now he's actually doing a let's play on the let's play on the three houses as well. Only on YouTube though. Don't even start. That's got nothing to do with me. Uh oh, better not let your brother hear you say that. It would break his fraternal heart. But all joking aside, it sounds like he really cares for you. You can say that again. He must be rather bored, too, now that the situation in Elmira has settled down. Ah, the Elmirans, the Eastern Menace, as they're often called. I did hear your brother had fought them a number of times. In fact, I hear he's even gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nadir, the great Elmiran warrior. Nadir the Undefeated, was it? Just another grizzled old man, as far as I'm concerned. But my father was ecstatic when he heard my brother had defeated him. He paraded my brother all over our territory. What a pain that must have been for our people. A pain? Any celebration is something to be enjoyed. Celebration puts smiles on faces faster than anything. I'm sure even you at least congratulated him, right? A smile from you would surely mean the world to your brother. Well, sure. Then he got all worked up and started saying things like, I am the protector of Fodlin. That's not far from the truth, you know. Why do you think the Almirans have been so quiet lately? They're wary of your brother. If House Goneril of the Border were a bunch of weaklings, the Almirans would have invaded Fodlin a long time ago. You talk about it as though you've spoken to the Almirans yourself. Well, I am heir to the leading house of the Alliance. I'm privy to all kinds of information, whether I like it or not. <laughs> you act so nonchalant about your studies, but you know so much about politics and history. You're a hard guy to grasp, you know that, Claude? Oh, I disagree. I'd let you grasp me any day. My hand, my heart, even my neck. But if you want to know all of my secrets, you'll have to bear yours as well. Did he try to flirt with her? Oh well. Alright guys, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Next time. We explore the monster and well, I think we get it to finally do Manuela's this quest. But also try to figure out what they mean about Anna. Because I don't think I've seen Anna when I was exploring. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think I've seen her. I like to explore a lot. So I see you guys then. Bye.